My name is Randy Steidel. I was born and raised in a small town in Paris, Illinois. I was wrongfully convicted in 1987 for a gruesome double murder that I did not commit. I spent 17 and a half years in prison. Twelve years of those were on death row in Illinois. And I watched in those years 12 men be executed. Had not been for people outside of the justice system, I'd have been executed. My case began in July of 1986 with a gruesome murder of the newlywed couple. And small town of Paris, 9,000 people, they were looking for somebody to blame for these murders. And I went from the streets to death row in 97 days. Me and my co-defendant. They were no physical evidence tying me to the crime. I had a corroborated alibi and I had a worthless attorney. And the prosecutor was bent on convicting us because six weeks before these murders, my co-defendant and myself had went to the FBI about the prosecutor protecting drug distribution and money laundering and gambling in that town. And the jury deliberated six and a half hours before coming back guilty. You have to listen to your family wailing in the back, your kids, you're sitting there, you can't believe you just heard that you were convicted of a double murder. It's just like somebody reaches over and throws the light switch off on your life. That quick, that easy. Death row is like a prison within a prison within a prison. You're in a four by eight cage 23 hours a day. You're fed in the cage. They cuff you up every time you come out of that cage. Whether it be to the yard, the shower, to the doctor, to the yard. The monotony is maddening if you don't exercise your body and your mind. And they are determined. They are determined to turn you into the animal that society has portrayed you as by being convicted of a double murder. Immediate family was when I heard the wails and the cries in the courtroom, I had my custody of my nine year old son at the time that didn't understand from the streets to death row in 97 days, gone, out of his life. It affected him immensely through the years and the collateral damage that's caused to children, to parents. If it hadn't been for my mother, I'd probably be dead today. I never thought I would be vocal about my case and, and want to talk about it. But I figured if I don't talk about it, if I'm not trying to be a voice for other Randy Stiles that are still sitting on death row in this country, those people don't have a voice, just like I didn't have a voice. Well, now I do. And I am not the expert on the death penalty. I am one of them. And I believe people need to be educated about it. 